one snack. On the GoPro. It's raining again. Now, snake locks, I'm just tying a regular uni knot with it. Three wraps, 25 pound leader. Good to go. Just tag your trim, or cut your trim. Tag your trim. My glasses are fogging up. Hot in here. You get turned back around. snook in the rain. Yes, sir. Pinfish or something. Dang, my glasses keep fogging up. Can't see. That was weird. You get those fish that hit it and they swim right at you. You go to pop the bait the next cat or the next uh, retrieve and there's like nothing there. I think I got a lot of pinfish right here. That's not much snook I think. Oh, yeah dude. I just scoot up with the I might have the power pull down right here. I'm spooking a lot of fish. Boy, <laughs> that could have been bad right there. Got wrapped around my other rod. Jeez. For any rod, I would pretty set if I broke it. Look at that, the Z-Man is wrapped around. <laughs> it's wrapped around and rehooked again. That's crazy. There we go. Jim and Christmas. He is not happy. As I hit the water, he crushed it. Really pretty fish. Hell yeah, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Chill. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. Right in the top of the freaking snout. Perfect. Hook set, bro. Perfect. Let's go. Quiet out here. I was just real. 
nailing it straight. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's quiet out here. Too quiet. There he is. I was just reeling it straight. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Holy cow. Heck yeah, dude. Beautiful red. Woo. Heck yeah, dude. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. At the end of my videos, I usually go over the tackle that I use for that uh, trip. So, to start off, my go to inshore reel Pen Conflict 2 2500, 10 pound spider wire ultra cast braid, down to my favorite inshore bait, the Z Man Paddlers with a snake locks hook. Now, this is a 1 8 ounce 3 aught snake locks. And I'm using the right stuff color. This color is, I've been waiting, this, waiting for this color for a long time, and I think that it has done its job over the last couple months. Dark water, murky water. This bait shines very well. It puts off a really good shadow. It has copper and gold fleck in it, and I think it drives the fish crazy. Now, I'm fishing in about a foot or two of water, so I'm usually just reeling this through the grass. I'm not even really working it. Now, sometimes, when it hits the bottom, I'll do a quick twitch, but most of the time I'm just kind of just reeling it, bringing it right through the grass. I'll cast past the mullet, and I'll bring it through. Now, this trip, the tide was incoming. It was pushing all the bait up against the mangroves, and I was just picking them off. I, the rain, it poured for about an hour or so, and I waited for that rain to finally go away. Everything slicked out after that, and I was able to throw this past the school mullet, bring it through gently, and the fish were picking it up. Now, the knot I tie for this is a uni knot. Now, there's a lot of movement up here. I used to tie a loop knot to it, and I think it's just way too much. And a uni knot direct to it, I feel like you get a little bit better control over the bait. You still have that movement, but you get a little better control and a better hook set. And that's going to go into your rod as well, because you're not going to want to use a light action rod. I've done it, it works but you will miss a lot of fish. You gotta pierce that hook through the elastic and into the fish's mouth. So a rod that's a uh, eight to 14 or an eight to 17 class is gonna be perfect for that. You're wanting to, when you get that bite, you wanna set that hook hard so you pierce through that elastic and the fish's mouth and actually catch the fish. You don't wanna just barely get that hook in there because he's gonna get in the grass and it's just gonna come off. So hopefully these tips help guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please, like, subscribe to my YouTube. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as well. If you have any questions, comment below. And thanks again, guys. I can't do this without you. Almost to 800 subscribers. We're almost there. I think I need like 50 more. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you guys so much for everything. And good luck out there.